what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today i have another beautiful chart to display as an example and i'm very excited because this is the chart of a friend who i know and this is a beautiful chart amazing chart there are so many beautiful combinations and yogas which i'm eager to show and this is the chart of a social worker i mean currently this person is working in the it industry but very soon this person is going to leave his job and go into uh, the uh, field of social service and he is going to go in the area of cow protection and so many other things and uh, plans which this person has which he will be executing very soon all right so that is it 1645 10th may 1991 place is vishakhapatnam india and this is the chart yes and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website it is there in the description below and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know if he should go into social service or not all right that is it from my side all right so let's begin the analysis here and before i say always remember that god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right now social service is very beautiful because the person is serving the public but for that the person should have a lot of goodwill inside yes otherwise the person cannot do that now before uh, going into the specifics of social service i would like to explain the beautiful yogas which this person has in the chart so now here you check uh, the placement of the lagna lot here so considering the number 7 sign this is a libra ascendant so venus is the ruler of libra and it is situated in the ninth house this is one of the raj yogas if the ruler of a kendra is sitting in a trine or a ruler of the trine is sitting in a kendra house all right so this means that lagna lord is sitting in the ninth house which means that this person is always geared towards religion and this person is very uh, spiritual by nature because it is also conjunct ketu here so because of this the person always uh, goes to spiritual programs satsangs which are available and this person seeks spiritual enlightenment and this person uh, always listens to the words of the gurus and the scriptures and the sages and the enlightened beings and thereby this person is very happy in life okay so now this is forming very beautifully here this raj yoga is very powerful lagna lord in the ninth house beautiful yoga this is now if you see here mars is the seventh lord seventh lord is also in the ninth house yes so recently i had uh, made two videos with nitin kashyap ji in that i had displayed marriage and spirituality so in that there were combinations for lagna lagna lord seventh lord ninth house ninth lord so this chart also fits into it all right so here the seventh lord is also in the ninth yes so when this person uh, so now this person is uh, searching a girl to get married and i had asked this person that oh you are searching girl to get married so uh, what what are the things that you are looking they said i don't want to i i don't have any specific criteria but the girl should be a uh, spiritual in nature she should be religious that is the only criteria which he has which is very evident because venus the natural significator of marriage is also in the ninth house and the seventh lord is also in the ninth so when these combinations are there that shows blessings of the gods when it comes to marriage because you are always executing the word of the scripture so naturally the marriage is long lasting and it sustains unlike uh, the materialistic marriages of the society today which falls off after the initial romance and the sexual attraction fades off yes very few marriages sustain and even if they are sustaining they are having affairs and there are so many other issues which happen in society these days because there is no level of god consciousness and understanding on the basis of higher principles but when you see these combinations in this chart like this here then you have to understand that Uh, the person is not like this he is a different person now if you check carefully here saturn is very 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 strong saturn is yoga karaka for libra ascendant and it is in the fourth house it is sitting in capricorn in own sign which gives the native 
the power to be extremely disciplined and very strong in the traits of Saturn because of which this is known as Shasha Mahapurush Yoga, one of the five Mahapurush Yoga when Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Mercury sits in the Kendra houses, first, fourth, seventh, tenth in own sign or in exaltation. So Capricorn is the own sign of Saturn. So this Shasha Mahapurush Yoga is occurring here in this chart. Very powerful yoga this is. Now there is another powerful yoga. Yes, I know you guessed it right. Jupiter is also in exaltation in the Kendra. It is forming Hansa Mahapurush Yoga. Beautiful yoga this is. Just see how beautiful this is. Tenth house is the most prominent house of the chart. You have an exalted planet there. That too, a planet like Jupiter. And beautiful this is. So now if you check carefully here. The tenth lord and the sixth lord are... Uh, sitting in each other's houses so Jupiter is sitting in the house of moon because uh, cancer is ruled by moon and moon is sitting in the house of Jupiter yes because number 12 is Pisces here and this is the sixth house so the sixth lord and tenth lord are in Parivartan so his sixth house is the house of service to people yes and to, uh, now you will say service we all know that but what kind of service it is the serv uh, service related to the sign of Pisces which is what doing good to other people yes Pisces is ruled by Jupiter the natural most benefic of all planets so when the 10th Lord and 6th Lord are in mutual exchange in Parivartan Yoga then the 10th house and 6th house become very much related which means that a primary portion of his karma which is the 10th house will have traits of the 6th house of service and whenever it comes to service he will have primary karma there because the 10th Lord is sitting here so it's like saying um, a major part of his actions of his life will be dealing with uh, serving other people yes because it's the sign of Pisces and the sixth house deals with service improving other people all right now there is another phenomenal yoga here and that yoga is known as Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga which Parashara says that is the best of 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 the best yogas when the ninth lord and the tenth lord are conjunct or in mutual exchange or in mutual aspect so here moon is the tenth lord and mercury is the ninth lord so moon mercury are conjunct in the sign of pisces here so because of this what happens this um, this dharma karma dipati yoga is functioning and that is what parashara says about dharma karma dipati yoga that the person does a lot of good activities and he attains a lot of name and fame and that's like the best yoga anybody can have in his, his or her chart. Now, you may say that, oh, but Mercury is debilitated here, is the ninth lord, that is fine. But Jupiter from the 10th house aspects the 6th house, yes. So when the lord of the sign where a planet gets debilitated aspects that sign, the debility gets cancelled which is known as Nich Bhangaraj Yoga yes in astrology so this debility of Mercury is getting cancelled by Jupiter yes and who is Jupiter Jupiter is ruler of the sixth house that means sixth house shows the people who are uh, close to you your colleagues yes so they also come under the sixth house subordinates are fifth house colleagues are sixth house enemies competitors are also sixth house because most of the times you are uh, colleagues only become your enemies and competitors right so but here six lord is giving the niche bhanga that means his enemies or colleagues will uh, uh, prove to be very beneficial for him yes and they will help him uh, overcome all the problems here now here uh, we see that uh, cancer is there in the 10th house and jupiter is also there so 10th house gives us a idea of what the person can be doing so he will be doing jupiterian work which is what improving the society doing good for other spiritual work basically yes so that is also very clear in this chart all right so now some somebody may say oh we all have these yogas but what's the guarantee that the person will do for that you check the strength of sun sun is in exaltation here in Aries. yes it is extremely powerful here because he's born in 10th of may and because of that this person is very much strong and he is very determined to do whatever he wants he doesn't care what other people say even if other people says that you don't do this but the person will still do this all right 
and this person is very strong he has a very high self esteem he doesn't keep listening to others about what others think of him yes so if others say you are good he is happy if they say you are bad then also he doesn't care so this is because surya the natural significator of the soul which shows the self purpose etc is in exaltation here yes in the sign of aries and it is aspecting the first house and saturn in mahapurush yoga also aspects the first house and jupiter is forming hansa mahapurush yoga here now another trait this person has is this person has a lot of contacts and friends and this person is very much easy going with others because the lagna lord venus and seventh lord mars are conjunct so whenever the lagna lord and uh, seventh lord are conjunct or in mutual exchange or in mutual aspect this makes the person very easy going with the opposite sex or with other people yes so because of that also uh, this person gets along very easily with others so and there are multiple other combinations for example the fifth lord is in the fourth house that is another raj yoga which is occurring here yes and that too it is in mahapurush yoga so this is very powerful so lot of goodness this person has and an exalted jupiter in the kendra and an exalted sun and a saturn in own sign so very 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 powerful chart and monetary wise also this person is very stable somehow or the other he keeps getting money because the lagna lord and second lord moon are um, uh, venus and mars are conjunct here all right so the 12th lord uh, which is also the 9th lord is in the 6th house so this is also forming a vipreet raj yoga here and the problem with this 9th lord being in debility is being cancelled by jupiter so now you see how beautifully this is working and moon is in the sign of pisces and that is why the person is very spiritual in nature and wants to do good rahu in third house is anyways very excellent for doing courageous activities so that's it beautiful placement uh and the person is very much interested in meditation etc and reading the scriptures because moon mercury in pisces gives that ability and that is it from my side very nice chart great personality and he will have a lot of name and fame and he will be extremely famous and he will do great activities in the society because of dharma karma dipat yoga the ninth lord tenth lord being in the uh in con in conjunction they are together all right and this will be used in the sixth house of service which is uh, benefiting other people all right and yes again before i stop i will give the disclaimer that just because this person has this combination so another person may also have this but he will have some difference in nakshatras etc because and degrees because of which the person may not be a social worker and just because no you don't have these combinations doesn't mean that you will become a social worker okay and now i am not giving a detailed analysis of his married life how his marriage will be or how many girlfriends he has had or how many affairs he will have because that's not the focus of this video okay nor am i going to say how much money will this person get the focus of this video is to demonstrate his traits for social service etc okay wish you good luck bye bye